Hello and welcome, this is Lance Deem, Amateur Radio Call Sign, ZL3LAD. And we're here today with another show of the Radio Ace, this time a game changer. New valve, 12BH7, and uh, massively improved shortwave results. In fact, I can hear shortwave stations that I wouldn't have had a chance to hear before. So we're still running off the 13.1 uh, power supply now down below down there. As we're running the radio ace on the computer disc, as the other one's uh, other disc, radio disc is full of junk and experiments that are, are currently being conducted. So um, I'd like to show you without further um, further delay on uh, how this works. So I'll just go ahead and um, I'll come forward in a minute and turn it on. Oops. So I'll just switch the power supply on down below and you'll start to hear the background noise. I'll turn that uh, down, although I bypassed uh, the uh, switch again and you can see the valve warming up there already. And hear a bit of background noise. Now, the, oh, yes, quite a bit of background noise. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll just turn the uh, regeneration control up, or feedback control. And this is with a standard shortwave coil. So I found feedback most of the way over the band with the antenna connected. So the first thing we'll do in this little demonstration is I'll turn that feedback control back down again and I'll connect the um, long wire antenna which is uh, 20 meters outside and just strung along as best as I could in the urban environment. Connect that and we'll have a listen. So it's uh, around about half past seven or uh, somewhere around that time, New Zealand Daylight Saving Time. And now I've got that connected. Turn that feedback up a bit. And keep going. The feedback pocket is a bit scratchy, but. And uh, the one thing I, I could actually improve upon with just the plain long wire antenna is an earth connection. So the uh, point where I've got it connected into uh, just at the moment before I can go ahead any further uh, tests there is um, connection 2 and that's a 12 puff capacitor to the uh, cathode tap. So I've been muddled up with connections before uh, but I've got the little diagram right in front of us there now so I don't forget where we are. So I'll increase the feedback. Sweep this band station there. I'll feedback, maybe it's uh, this is on. Little bite point with the feedback, perhaps. Which is exactly what it was. And we get worse, so I increase the feedback. So, something I've never had, well, never had before using a 12 BH7 is feedback at the lower portion of the band. A strong show of feedback at the lower portion of the van and the feedback control is not turned right up yet. Note that, please. And the 
Scheiße. That's the feedback control pin right up with the wire pushing in the van. Well, it's not, not uh, that it hasn't turned it right off, you see the valve still lit. So I've turned it down so to um, lower the plate voltage right to um, close to zero as we can. So taking off that uh, long wire antenna, just at the moment, um, conditions it's not fully dark yet. The uh, um, sun has to set if you like, um, this part of the globe. So what we have um, also, in addition to the uh, that long wire that I clipped in just a minute ago is a amplified loop antenna. Now I've found the combination of the amplified loop and the 12BH7 to be absolutely game changing and unbeatable. I'll post a picture and maybe post a link of it there. So uh, this amplified loop with the 12BH7 valve in place of like a 12 AU7 or 12AT7 uh, this gives me results where I wouldn't otherwise hear anything so um, I might just turn the feedback up there on that to a point where we know we've got oscillation down the lower part of the band we haven't yet we will seek that yeah we've got oscillation just happening down as I turn, maybe the hear that noise. That's uh, feedback's happening down the lower part of the band there. So this is turned off, um, and I'll uh, I'll turn it on on camera, and now we'll search for some stations. And this loop or the loop itself is just sitting inside, and it's sitting in a, uh, a felt and wardrobe, so nothing special. No trouble to hook it up whatsoever. No hassle like putting the long wire outside and it, it works. We'll, we'll just have a look, eh? I'm already, um, I, I'm sw I swore I would have heard a heterodyne there. There we are. That's our first signal. Just uh, tuning that with the feedback uh, is actually is happening, so I should be hearing heterodynes. It's perhaps not the best way to tune it, but being on an indoor loop, amplified loop, where it shouldn't be radiating any signal from, it's not so bad. And there's a strong one. I only might come back a bit later on and uh, just see how we go with a um, bit, uh, bit of a change in conditions. Hello again and welcome back. Hey, we're just having another look at the old um, radio a bit later on at night. Um, and we've got some strong stations with uh, coil tapping too, up the top end. Là, qui est ce week-end sur Paris. Oh, C'était le quartier de Zébo aujourd'hui. Le château est fermé pendant deux heures. Ah, c'est le fire antenna. Et 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 le fire antenna.
seul problème. Désormais, plus d'une centaine de personnes font la queue pour rentrer. Salomé est dans le monde. Change that. Antenna three. <clears throat>
Well, well, there we have it. The Huawei H7 and the amplifier lifting down.